Good morning. It is a very spontaneous start to wanting to start a vlog. Not spontaneous in terms of what I'm doing, but it is currently just like a huge storm outside in Melbourne. Like it's massive. There's lightning, thunder. So I'm taking a very slow start to the morning and I've got my coffee and I'm reading, which is like the best start to my day. I'm actually reading on my Kindle because I could not decide. I'm reading Magnolia, the third book, slowly because I just, I love that series. So I don't want it to end too quickly. And then I just bought If He Had Been With Me. Um, but I wasn't in the mood to start it. And on my Kindle, my read was Mile High, which I've heard really good things about. A bit of spice. You can hear the thunder. Eugene got scared. You want to go back to bed? He got so scared of the thunder that he literally ran back in here and went under the Juno cupboard. So I was like, bless. Poor little thing. But, so I'm going to cuddle with him. I'm going to read my book. Then I might go to the gym, but spend a cozy, rainy day with me. Why could this Mile High book just get, like, get me smiling? Like, the banter in it is really funny. So, um loving i was almost gonna switch books but so good anyway i think it's time because i technically have a uni class i could attend today so i might try and make that if i get my workout in Hi. Like you own name, read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens. It's been me, you'll be such a take a load off and your clothes off. Just relax, you deserve it. You keep me up and I got you on my mind. As you can probably tell, this rainy, stormy day has come out blue skies and sunshine. Like it's so bright now, which is so crazy. But um, just got back from the gym, reset the whole house, and made my oats. Don't even need to talk about it. If you've watched my other videos, you know. So I will have my oats now. It's like 11 o'clock. I thought my class started at 11, but it turns out because of the different time zones in different states of Australia, it actually starts at 12 o'clock for me. So I've got a bit of time. So I'm going to read, I'm going to eat. Enjoy the sun with Mr. Eugene. He's so happy that the storm is over. <laughs> so glad I did 
a really good walk on the treadmill. It was like inclined, sweated it out because I just was having a bit of a rut. Things that really get you drained and anxiety through the roof. So it's nice to have a day to reset, get my things done, spend it with Eugene. He's so cute. Mm. to curl my hair and make myself feel a little more put together even if we're not leaving the house <laughs> but it is time for uni type of hemophilia that affected both men and women equally which is unusual because eventually realized starting in the 19th and 20th centuries so germany russia england Spain. my uni class finished early so so happy about that. I've decided I'm going to go on oh, this lighting. I'm going to go to a fresh bakery and buy like a fresh sourdough because I really am craving sourdough with eggs. And I've, I've already got eggs hauling me. So I'm just going to go to a bakery and buy a fresh sourdough, which I'm very excited for. Um, and then I'll be back to doing more uni on this rainy day. It has stopped raining, but you know, it's still that cozy kind of day. Jean. But what is it doing? My Lululemon bum bag. It's the perfect thing ever. kind of gal. I've been seeing Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After, like those two kind of fantasy books. I have read Akatar 1. I did enjoy it. I think I got a bit distracted and I didn't like lo love it. <laughs> oh, but um, I probably will eventually read the second one. Like even if I listen to it on Audible or something, I will one day maybe finish that series, especially if the second one really sells it for me. But um yeah someone convinced me to read maybe like once upon a broken heart and the ballad never after that duo that apparently is becoming a trilogy i've been seeing all over booktube like Haley, destiny and sarah all read it and like were like crying on the second one you just have to get through the first one apparently the second one's really really good so that kind of puts me off because i'm like oh no what if i don't love the first one but someone convinced me in the comments should i read a fantasy book next yeah, the next series I need to finish is obviously like the Magnolia Park Universe World. I'm on the second last book, but I really don't want it to end because I love that series so much. I still haven't finished the Addicted Callaway series, which I'm slowly burning through. I think I'm only up to the third book, but I love that series. But I feel like, again, you can kind of read it at a slow pace because it's just like a series you'll always love. Oh, thriller update. I finished Rock, Paper, Scissors on my Kindle 
and I liked it but I don't know whether it was maybe just like you know when sometimes a book is good but it's just like the time frame you're kind of reading it in and you don't take in all the pages so you don't fully get to see if you like full on loved it but I did like it but I got confused that's the twist at the end fully confused me but it didn't feel the same as like housemaid did to me because housemaid is literally like a six out of five stars like that is so good that I just love it so much um, and I think I was comparing too much so maybe I read them too close together because the author of Housemaid, Frida, I've read another book of hers and I loved it as well. So I feel like her thrillers are more my vibe. So let me know what thriller and what fantasy books I should read next because I've got the romance down pat. <laughs> but um, I love kind of recommendations and should I step out of my comfort zone is kind of where I'm at. But yeah, let me know if you like chatting books. I certainly do. <laughs> let me finish my laundry. <laughs> Also, these pants, so, so comfortable. Oh, Eugene's trying to get the fly. <laughs> Mine's are a fly. Get it, Eugene. Anyway, these are my South Street cargo pants, which I love. So many fun pockets. Super baggy. I feel like I just always have to give fun recommendations of like my favorite things. So yeah, I should probably do a favorites video soon. But anyway, let's do some study. I'm just like testing out the spot I'm going to film my sit down video in which you'll have to wait and see what it is but basically we need to go pick out my favorite books oh my god I nearly fell what am I gonna talk about I'm obviously obsessed with reading so I want to pick out all my favorite books and just have a whole video to them so when I give my recommendations people have a video to refer to so The rest are beside my bed, but this is a pretty good stack. <laughs> um. Okay, back to the vlog behind the scenes. <laughs> I just finished wrapping up my book reviews, so definitely check out that video if you want to see me talk about my favorite books. Fix your ears. So I loved making that video, so I'll probably edit it now, do more uni work and keep relaxing. It is much, much later in the day. It is nearly 8 p.m. and I've just been editing and reading and I am tired. These eyes cannot stay awake today. It is obviously that time of the month and I just get so tired. But it's been such a beautiful day. Um, anyway, I am on the third book, as I mentioned. I'm only 50 pages in, but page turning, as usual. I don't know what it is. Jessa Hastings. The detail in the covers is, like, insane. The little bees. Anyway, I'm craving dessert, so I think I'm going to get some food. It's been a great Saturday, and I'm definitely going to continue vlogging tomorrow. That is all I have to update you. All right, Monday and it is freezing in the country. So I stole my Nana's very fluffy jacket, which like very trendy. Anyway, I went for a run this morning in the wind as well. And I ran four kilometers, which I'm so proud of, so happy with. And now I'm just sitting in a uni class and we're taking a break. So I'm gonna make my protein oats. And then obviously it's dance teaching tonight. So we'll see if I take you along for that, but let's make some oats. Mm -hmm. 